Hey, so I just recently got a Ender 3 Pro for Christmas and um, got a couple of friends that one's got an Ender 3 Pro and the other one, I can never remember the name of the printer, but it's supposed to be a competitor with the Ender 3 um, around the same price point. But I wanted to show how to do supports differently because uh, one of them's having problems with supports and removing them and breaking things off and I've been there know what that's like uh, figured out some things uh, that I want to show so most of the time when you pull up a model it's gonna look like this at least until you start diving into the profiles and things like that and most people just click generate support uh, and build plate adhesion and not really go into the details of what that does another thing people are asking is how you see the layers and that took me a while to figure out too if you click on solid view up here and hit layer view it's going to kind of go uh, grayed out like this but if you hit prepare once it does the slicing it will show you exactly how the model is going to look so you can see all those supports in there uh, for this particular model uh, and I will tell you they are a pain in the ass to remove so um, let me show you a different way to do that so I'm gonna uncheck generate support and build plate adhesion because I don't use those on minis uh, well not in the same way anyway so click custom and go down to generate support here um, and then if you click on this little cog right here, you can click on that and you can scroll all the way down to experimental. Yeah, right in here. Or you could search tree and you want to check all these tree support ones. Okay. So what this is going to do for you is when you put tree support, um, it's going to do supports a different way. So if I uncheck the normal supports and hit prepare it's going to show you a different type of support here so yeah this looks a little crazier um, but if you notice it's not touching the build plate and it's barely touching in certain points um, but we can actually limit the number of these that show up because you really don't need them in all these places so let's like bump this up to let's do 75 and then prepare it again and see what happens for your support overhang angle alright so it made it a lot less there um, probably still a lot in places that we don't necessarily need so we can let's raise it up let's go with 80 and see what 80 does 80 seems to be the sweet spot for most of what I've done yeah, so that's a little bit better. I will say that the sleeves on here might might tip over when once it starts building it up. Um, so I don't I don't really know. I won't know until we until I actually printed it to tell you for sure. Um, but that's how you reduce the amount of these that there are. You can also play with these settings to make them thicker and things like that. Um, I haven't really played with any of that. But these supports are much easier to remove. Most of the time, uh, when you use the scraper and pull the mini off, the tree supports will stay in place and they'll just pop right off. Um, so what else was I going to say? There's... There's another thing you can do if you do touch build plate only um, and hit prepare. I think that changes. Well, it may be the same here. Might be the same. But that's how you get the uh, tree supports to be a little better. And honestly, I've had a little bit of problem with the uh, tree supports falling. And that's what causes things like this to break off. So we might need to switch over to a brim.
so that the tree supports have a better base. Let's see what that does. Yeah, so that will make the tree supports a little more stable at the bottom there. But anyways, uh, I'm going to post this up on YouTube for other people to kind of see, uh, especially the things that have worked for me anyway. If you have any comments or suggestions, I'm so new to this, so whatever will help me out and make the cleanup less, I would greatly appreciate the help. Uh, anyways, thanks.